hello, hello. My name is Tim Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part 55 of my Fallout 76 Let's Play. We are back here at White Spring Resort. Continuing the Flavors of Mayhem quest that we started last time. Uh, where we made friends with the Deathclaw. And a whole bunch of other wacky things. So right now we are here to kill a feral ghoul. And I think we'll do a few other uh, quests since we're here in this area. And there, Yeah, there's a few other quests that we can do here while we're here. 16 times the detail. Look at that. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Tim Cleaver. The link is down below in the description. And I, I, I do appreciate the fact that people are still commenting on on the videos and uh wanting more content and i, I do appreciate that it, it just it, it it uh it shows me that yeah it's it is demanded or on demand i guess even if one person is enjoying it that's that's enough for me that's worth it was that not a feral ghoul that we just killed here Oh, big feral ghoul. Yeah, we should do it. <laughs> uh, so we gotta equip a uh, cannibal perk and cannibalize. Very good. Cool. Cannibal, there we go. Well, you know what they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Let's go big. Eat corpse. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I guess she really doesn't have the stomach for it because she's a robot. Okay, so we're not going to go back and speak to Rose right now. Uh, yeah, there are a few other quests we can do in this area. I saw one forging a legend. Acquire a historic sword. So this is for the... Uh, something manor quest that we got a long time ago. Riverside Manor, I think it was called. That was here? Yeah, Riverside Manor. Alright. So it's close by. And I'm thinking we should have some Brad X. Because there are going to be many war ghouls here. Northridge Drive is that way. Garden Drive is that way. Alright, looks like the sword is in that building. It's probably in like a display case or something. Oh! What happened there? Radex, ammo. They just appear out of nowhere. Oh, you're out of here. <laughs> Are we trapped there if we go there? No, we can get out. Suffering from radworms. Excuse me. Let's uh, do something about that. Disease cure. Sweet. We have a few of those. Uh, 
Uh, I saw something here. Caps, two caps, industrial solvents. What's in that? Uh, steel and antiseptic. Uh, antiseptic is used for stim packs. Sure, let's take it. Is that a key? It's a gold fork. Look at that. Living large and in charge. Entirely made out of gold. Yeah, there it is. I knew it. And I guess we're going to use this terminal to open it up. Presidential Cottage and Museum Terminal. Uh, open seasonally, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Guided tours available upon, upon request. About the cottage. <clears throat> Excuse me. With its commanding view of the North Lawn and Spring House, the Presidential Cottage is the White Springs' finest accommodation. The current cottage has hosted 12 of the 31 sitting or former presidents. I I'm no political expert, but shouldn't a president be standing for his country, not sitting down? Come on. Get with it. <laughs> uh, who have been guests of the resort and is available exclusively for their reservation. When not occupied, the cottage is open to the public seasonally, April to November. Okay, so summer months. Extended summer months. As a museum and historic site. Our presidential history. For generations, the White Springs Resort has been host to America's most prestigious and discerning guests. Preeminent among them have been 31 sitting or former presidents. There they are sitting again. Presidents of the United States, including Presidents Lincoln, Grant, and Roosevelt. With its idyllic mountain climate, restorative spring waters, fine sporting facilities, and cultured atmosphere, the White Spring has long been a favored vacation destination for Washington's elite. The resort's extensive conference facilities have also hosted innumerable political meetings and international summits. I feel... I feel better just being here, honestly. Self-guided tour. Please select a uh, room for more information. State dining room. The state dining room at the White Spring Presidential Cottage has hosted more than a dozen formal banquets with heads of state. All of the furniture in this room is American-made, most dating to the 18th century. The most notable piece is the Mah Mahogany Grand Cabinet, which displays the White Springs Presidential Platinum China. I wonder if that's still there. The display case in this room contains a saber carried by President Grant. That must be the sword. Uh, during the Vicksburg campaign, when his primary sword was lost at the Battle of Champion Hill and not recovered until the following day. Hall of Heroes. That sounds like something out of uh, Bioshock Infinite as well. Or, yeah, I think it was Bioshock Infinite. The Hall of Heroes displays a fine collection of high-quality reproduction oil paintings commemor commemorating America's revolutionary war heroes. Take in the breathtaking view of the White Springs legendary golf course from the president's portico on the rear of the house. The deck chairs on the portico were purchased from the White House in 2042, 2042, so in 21 years from now. Whoa. They could tell the future. <laughs> following renovations to the White House pool. Social Parlor. When not enjoying activities elsewhere on the property, the first family often retires to the social, the social parlor on the first floor. The parlor features a comfortable space for casual discussions and evening entertainment, especially after a formal dinner. The grand piano in this room has been played by several notable pianists and innumerable presidential children. The cello, though once believed to be an original Stradivarius, Stradivarius, was later determined to be a forgery, but remains with the house as an item of particular interest. Presidential Suite Upstairs, the presidential suite provides an elegant res uh, respite for our distinguished guests. Notable pieces in this room include an antique television and phone from the Roosevelt White House and a bureau that once belonged to President Millard Fillmore. Uh, that's the first time I've ever heard of a television being referred to as a television. I thought they referred to them as, like, 
hollow hollow scopes or something. Hmm. Well, maybe they play the hollow tapes or whatever in the television. That, that that would make more sense. Although originally a traditional four four poster, the 1887 mahogany bed was refashioned into a more modern design following damage during remodeling in 2054. Please do not sit, stand, sleep, look, or jump on the presidential bed. <laughs> yeah, especially do not sleep on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Children's Suite. For decades, the Children's Suite has hosted the children and grandchildren of our presidents. Of particular note are toys donated by each of the children who have stayed in the cottage. Together, they represent different eras in American history, from an original 1903 teddy bear through icons of the mid-century space race to the modern giddy-up buttercup. Interesting that a teddy bear is capitalized. Must be a brand name or something. The rather considerable wear on the antique furniture in this room is a testament to the many hours our young guests have enjoyed here. Uh, staff access. Verifying credentials failed. A valid employee password is required for access. If you require assistance, please contact resort security personnel. Hmm. So I guess we got to get a password to open that. Find the terminal password. Yes. I wonder if it's on the body of a ghoul. I wonder. And that looks like a, a secret passage doorway or something. Napkin? No, it wouldn't be written on there. Fancy that. Snack cakes, we'll take that. Some. No, that's a rum bottle. Empty bottle. Yeah, this looks like a hidden passage, doesn't it? Hmm. There's the piano. Oh, you're still alive. Not anymore. I hear those footsteps. They must be up there somewhere. That would suck if the password was on that ghoul and now we can't get it at all. Gumdrops. What's in here? Okay, how big is this zone that we're looking at? Okay, so it's pretty much contained to this house or little little estate. I guess this is the uh, the presidential area. Artisans Row Shops. Shops. You know when it's spelled that way that it's uh, a big deal. Oh yeah. Legendary too. What do we get? What do we get? Mutant Slayer's Knuckles. Pass. Plus 50% damage to super mutants. 40% swing. Faster swing speed. Hey! Yo, magic! Come on, alien man. Ornamental base. <laughs> Drop it. I don't need it. I wish there was a way uh, that we could, like, not store items in our regular stash. Like, I wish there was a way that we could just keep particular... Uh, unique items in like a separate uh, separate stash for for collection sake bobby pins nice oh we need skill 3 for that or maybe there maybe there is a way I just don't know it 
That's a weird spot to put a mannequin. Or two. I've never seen mannequins like up on a shelf like that. More bobby pins? Nice. Pre-war money. Always take that, even though it's pretty much useless. Locked cash register. That's like the first one I've seen. Some more bubble gum. Okay, good to know. Actually, uh, I do need screws to make more of these guns, so I should take these. Like the toy cars that contain the screws and all that. Cotton candy bites. Baby rattle, what's in that? Lead. I don't need lead right now. Uh, let's go back in here for a sec. So I'm pretty sure we missed some items with a uh, screw in them. That's empty. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, I have a very particular way of like looting stuff. Uh, I only take stuff, really, if it's in, like, a kind of a higher-end loot container, like a, a toolbox or a, a safe like this, cash register. I usually take anything if it's in, like, any container, but excluding a desk like this. I, would, I wouldn't take anything if it's in a desk like that. Unless I really, really need it. Violin. Sleepy Dragon has launched the nuke. Okay, where's that coming in from? Probably down here. Yeah, cool. Oh, there's the violin. I didn't even see it. That has a screw. Okay, see, like, I would want to keep the violin and Delicious not citizens. scrap it just because Nuclear it's rare. Man. It would seem rare. Please exit the area at your Toy rocket ship, that's something. What's in there? Thank Lead? You. Nope, we need that. Uh, gumdrops we'll take, though. Okay, we gotta look out for that. Uh, password. Mentats. And tats are good. Wait, what's in here? Nothing. Fisherman's hat. Nice. I don't think we have one of those yet. Vodka. Here's that television. Ginseng root. I've never seen ginseng root anywhere else in the game. You got some water, some more bobby pins. Oh man. Yeah, come here if you're missing bobby pins. An abundance of bobby pins. Oh! Lots of chems, too. Nice. Alright, we haven't been upstairs yet. I bet it's upstairs somewhere. Hahaha! <laughs> Yeah, let's go upstairs. 
Oh, there it is. Jeez, we don't even need to go upstairs. But let's go upstairs anyway, just uh, to make sure we we looted everything. I still hear the footsteps. There you go. Oh! I saw something else. I saw... Here we go. Government supply requisition. Nice. We'll take that. Undamaged Abraxo cleaner. I think that uh, contains... Antiseptic? Yes, yeah, we'll take that. Stealth Boy. And Presidential Cottage Password. Did we get two of them now? I hope we didn't get two. Be miscellaneous. Yeah, we got two. Yeah, we can't drop keys. Too bad. Or bobby pins? Who would throw away bobby pins like that? What a waste. You know what? Let's uh have some rad away. Just some diluted. Yeah, we don't need the full rad away. Bob. Uh, oh yeah, bobblehead. Nice. Intelligence. When used, gain plus two intelligence for an hour. Nice. We've got a few bobbleheads now. We should uh, use one at some point. Yeah, we have like six. Small guns will be good. That'll be... I think I'll, I'll save this for like a big boss fight or something. Like a big Scorch Beast fight. Uh, and I know, I'm pretty sure we can only have one active at, at one time. Step back healing plus 30%, that'd be useful too. Don't really need the unarmed, but... Let's see, we'll have some fun with it, maybe. Go around punching everything. Oh, pukey pukey. Too much medics. Going through withdrawals. That does not sound like a fun Saturday morning. Waking up, hungover, burnt out, whatever. Itching, itching for a fix. And the bombs drop. Another stealth boy. Oh my goodness. Man, yeah, this is this is the place. This is the place to come. Let's have some food. Add some water too. There we go. Feel better. There's tons of useful stuff here. All right. I think we got everything. Almost. No. What's in here? That's probably outside. Yeah. Binoculars, we don't need those. And uh, if I do find out that we really do need something from here that I missed or that I skipped over, I could always come back and just pick it up off camera. All right, let's get the sword. Uh, staff access. Excuse me. Export security recording. What is that? September 14th, 86. Warning, your security tape drive is full. Please replace the security tape in order to resume normal monitor. Okay. Uh, remote door control. Multiple faults detected. Please check your door for any visible signs of damage. Contact maintenance at uh, extension 91 for any necessary repairs. Display case access. Here we go. Open display case. That's what we needed. 
Grant's Saber. Nice. Attach the swing analyzer to Grant's Saber. Okay, I guess we gotta go back to uh, the mansion for that. Or the, 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 uh, the Riverside Manor. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna do that yet. There are other side quests we can do still in this area. Like these. Yeah, kill unruly golfers. Collect and hold White Spring holotapes. Uh, let's kill the unruly golfers. Three out of ten, so there's seven more. As a general rule of thumb, I despise unruliness. But there's nothing I despise more than unruly golfers. They're the worst. They're the scum of the earth. Them and their fucking country clubs and $20 beers. Man, oh man. <laughs> And their polo shirts. Where are they now? I hear them. Yeah, I definitely hear them. I just don't seize them. There's probably a bunch in here. Golf tee? Is that like a... I guess a little thing that you put the golf ball on, not a, not, not a t-shirt. Boop! Boop! Shouldn't that number go up to five now? Ah, tripwire. Holy God! I did not expect that because we activated the tripwire. We, uh, we canceled it. Isn't that how it works? Oh, there's someone in there. Or something, rather. Not someone. Used to be someone. Somebody? Somebody. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. That's all I know. Closed. Okay, what happens if we get their attention? Yeah, wake up. <laughs> well, I hope this isn't glitched now. Where it's not, like, recognizing the kills. That would suck. That's fucked. Well, it might be glitched. We might have to come back and do this uh, some other time. A 10 mil pistol. Yeah, I knew it. As soon as they got up, they freeze. 
I don't like it. But it's not a glitch, it's a feature. Pork and beans, we've got some potato crisps. Some Pringles. Bunch of empty bottles. Oh, here, here we got something. Yeah, that number is not going up either. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay, we'll come back here later. Actually, let's go down here first. This place is huge. Yo. Oh, here we go. Does a glowing one still count as a ghoul, or is that like a separate entity? That counter should update. Oh, kill unruly golfer feral ghoul, so I guess they have to be wearing the golfer uh, uniform. Or costume or whatever. Okay, we've got four now. Okay, let's keep going. And I can tell why they're being unruly. They're not cooperating. Toolbox. All right, we got like a shared bathroom area. Washroom. <laughs> Suffering from glowing postule as well. We can't have that. Oh, look at their expression or like their uh, their body language. They got their right hand on their forehead. Suffering from a headache, maybe? Or any other issues, maybe? What's that? Fade advisor? Nope. Here, here, we got a boss loot stash. Or bobby pins? Yo. That's really awesome. Really helpful. I've noticed that, uh, in general, bobby pins are easier to come by, or it seems they're more prevalent and plentiful if I buy some bobby pins at a vendor first. Like, I started a new character uh, again, and... Making it a point to uh, to buy the bobby pins at any new like vendor I come across, and yeah, it just seems that that allows for uh, more bobby pins to spawn in the world. I don't know; it could be just like my perception of it, or a placebo effect, or something. That's a cool suit. That's like the. Uh, I forget the exact name, but in, in Fallout 4, the, the Lorenzo suit. Yeah, that's it. Lorenzo suit. One of my favorite 
charisma increasing suits in that game. The pro shop. I wonder if these unruly golfers are like more on the uh, on the green rather than in the buildings here. Pre-war money. We got some nothing else. Oh, combat shotgun. Nice. Oh, I shot Lemmy. No, I'm sorry, Lemmy. Uh, let's get rid of those glowing postules, too. That sounds painful. Disease cure. Another one. Okay, I think we made a round here. Um, yeah, I'll probably just come back here another time and continue killing these unruly golfers. Unless I come across them right now. Yeah, this place is huge. This whole resort area. Okay, we killed five now. Okay, we're halfway there. And uh, I'm, I'm certain the progress does, like, carry over sessions because I had three from earlier. I'm just uh, seeing if we can like lock on to any ghouls here. All right, yeah, we'll come back to that. Okay, let's go back and see uh See Rose. Actually, no. We could we could do this too. Let's do this first. Forging a legend. Attach the swing analyzer to Grant Saber. Uh, that's back at the mansion. Uh, which was right. Here, wasn't it? How come it's not showing up on the map? Oh, I guess we just do that at a workbench? Okay, I think there was a workbench uh, at top of the world. Uh, so let's do that quest then instead. Let's go back and see Rose. Yeah, speak with Rose. Alright. So see you back... At top of the world. Yeah, I'm going to fast travel back to my camp because it's right here. Uh, and then probably walk there or fast travel there. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, cut and then I'll see you back at the top of the world. All right, we're back in my camp. And I just realized during the loading screen that I could attach a swing analyzer, probably, to the sword so let's try that here I haven't really done anything to my camp uh, yet like nothing out of the ordinary or uh, unique kind of I just have the essentials uh, modify grant saber here we go swing analyzer Collects data about your combat stance and swing. Yes. What's happening here? Okay, we have it equipped. I press back. It 
takes it off. Uh, I don't know what's happening here. Is that a glitch? So much. So quickly. Oh, so now we have this. Kill different types of creatures with Grant Saber. Okay, so I guess we did do it. <laughs> Good to know. All right, now. Now we'll fast travel to top of the world. I will see you. For real. At top of the world. All right, we are back at top of the world. Finally. And we can speak with Rose and hopefully complete this uh, quest. Ah, you're back. Why are you looking at me like you want something? Your reward is the knowledge you've gained from me. Of course. Congratulations. <laughs> Hell, whatever. You can have some more stuff I got laying around too. Nice. Ski sword headed. What do we get? Black diamond. Sweet. Short laser pistol. All right. I think we will wrap up this episode here. Uh, and what happened there? <laughs> we'll continue next time. Uh, I don't know what quest we'll do next time. Maybe I will do a bit more exploring because I was playing on a different character. Uh, exploring around the ash heap, the southern part of it, like right around here. And I found something really cool that I was unprepared for and suffered for it. But I think we're at the appropriate level uh, that we can do this. So I might do that next time. Yes. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, yeah, as always, keep the comments coming. I really, really do appreciate them. And it just, it just makes me feel good that people enjoy uh, the videos as much as I enjoy playing the game and editing it and making the content. Yes, so I'll see you next time in part 56.